Bonjour, this is Madame Fournier, and I am here to teach you how to create a tournament using challenge.com so that you can record your students' predictions and keep track of the winners and the points for a money music ad. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to challenge.com, create an account. Once you have created an account, you need to click this orange rectangle which says create a tournament. I'm going to call this money teaching sample. You'll notice down here that there's a URL. This is what you will eventually share with your students when you are ready to have them make predictions on their brackets. So then I'm going to scroll down here. Single stage tournament is good. Single el elimination is what you want. Um, down here, um, really the most important thing is to Keep going down until you get to enable bracket predictions. That needs to be checked. I like to have the points increase exponentially for each round so they would get more points for later rounds, which are harder to predict. You can also choose to make the predictions publicly viewable prior to the tournament starting, but I choose not to because I don't want students to copy their friends or be influenced by other people's predictions. I want them to do this independently. Then you're gonna go down here and hit advanced options. So this is important so that you can get your bracket to look like the actual bracket that we have and make sure that the order is correct. So we're going to go down here and we're going to have, instead of traditional seating rules, you're going to have the order of the participants list. That will be important. Um, the rest of it should be fine. So then I'm going to save and continue. And then what I need to do is go to participants because I need to put in now the names of the songs. So if I go to participants, this is actually the song names. It's a little bit confusing. And really important is to put them in the correct order so that the matchups are correct. So if you have a paper bracket in front of you or you're looking at our website, I'm going to use the 2019 playlist as an example. And you're going to enter the songs, all the songs in order on the left-hand column, and then all the songs in order on the right-hand column. Um, even though on the left you have day one and then on the right you have day two and then on the left you have day three and so forth you need to add them add them in from the left and then from the right in order for the second round matches to mirror what you have on the paper bracket um, also a side note i always have the students fill out the paper bracket first they can use that as a backup keep it in their binders so that they remember what they voted for and maybe they can take notes on it and cross out the ones they got wrong and so forth. Um, that's what I do with my basketball picks as well. And so you want to really make sure that your order is correct. So all the way down the left-hand side and all the way down the right-hand side. So I'm going to try to do these really quickly. So we have Millionaire, and then we have Le Plus Fort Du Monde. I'm just going to abbreviate. Demain. So I'm just going straight down the left-hand side. Au revoir. À mon âge. Oh, âge, there we go. Uh, Tombé amoureux, I'm just going to abbreviate. Ailleurs, immobile. So that's the, those are the eight songs on the left hand side of the paper bracket. Now I'm going to do the right hand side. So I'm going to put in Je suis comme toi, pour changer le monde, mondial, tout oublié, jour J. Je te le donne, uh, la même, and la pluie. So in the end, you should have 16 songs. So I have 16 songs there. Um, so that looks good. Then I can go to my bracket and look at that and see what it looks like. So you'll see it looks a little bit different from the paper bracket, and it's important to tell students that because they might get a little confused because of the order. Uh, but that looks good. So then what I'm going to do is go over to um, prediction, or actually, before I do that, I'm going to, if I'm happy with my bracket, I'm going to look here and go start accepting predictions. So I'm going to click on that once I'm ready 
for the bracket to go live. Um, at this point, you would share with your students the URL uh, on Google Classroom or however you would like to share that. If you forgot where it is, it's under settings and it's right here. So the tournament name, money, teaching sample, and you have your URL there. So it's the channels.com plus this code. So then if I go back to predictions, you'll see I have zero predictions because no one has done this yet. I can create one for myself if I want. I'm gonna do that as an example. So I click the green button and you'll see everything's in red that I haven't chosen yet. So if I click on millionaire, if I think that one's gonna win, I will click on that and it automatically advances. So I'm just gonna pick some random ones. You'll notice that they just populate in the next section. You can um, change it if you want to. Um, then I would go on to round two, so you would get more points for this round if you got those right. And then you have the semifinals. So there we go. And then to pick the champion, you have to scroll down. So students might say, wait, how do I pick the winner? You have to scroll down, select the tournament winner. So if I click on that, I have Demain or Jour J. So I'll pick one of those, whichever I have chosen as my champion. And then here, this is really important. You wanna make sure that you have the students put in their names. So if I put here, um, student name, that way you'll know who's, which prediction goes with which student. So I have them put their first and last name because of course you might have two people with the same name in different classes or within the same class. They do have to put in an email address. Um, so you can decide how you wanna go about that. And then I would hit submit. So then I have one prediction showing here and um, I can edit my bracket up till the start of the contest. So that's what I have. Um, and then I can delete it if I want to. Then when you're ready to, um, when the tournament has begun and you're ready to um, see where students are, if you go to the bracket, and actually I have to do this with a different tournament because this one hasn't started yet. Um, actually, I could say start the tournament, couldn't I? So if I say start the tournament, Okay, I've only got one prediction. Uh, once I hit start the tournament, after the first day, once it has been determined by the voting which song wins, I hit this little edit tool and it says report scores. So then I would choose, let's say millionaire one, I would verify the winner and hit submit scores. Um, okay, so actually, Let's try that again. So I guess I have to put a score in. So it doesn't really matter what you put in here, um, just as long as you have the correct winner. So I'll just put that. So we'll say millionaire one. Um, then I would do the same thing each day and it would show if you go under um, leaderboards, you'll see a leaderboard um, thing here. So predictions, leaderboards down here. So, oh, look, I'm winning. I'm the only one, actually. I didn't even pick that song. Uh, but it will tell you what everybody has for a score. So that's how you can keep track of who won. And if you choose to do prizes, you can do prizes. Uh, I hope that that is clear and that you find this useful. Um, looking forward to your participation in the Money Musicale. Merci beaucoup.